Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you something different. I have the Make the Cut program and I have not used this before today and um, I'm just excited to share it with you because I've had a lot of questions so far on Facebook about it and I just wanted to show the rest of you who aren't on my Facebook that I will be doing projects with Make the Cut in the future. So if you have a Make the Cut program or a Sure Cuts a Lot program then you'll know that you can be coming here to see updates on those types of programs. The first thing that I actually made with Make the Cut was this. I downloaded this file that was just this scallop circle with hearts from a site online and it was this cut was free. Um, I was looking for a free cut because I had not done this before and I don't want to pay for one quite yet. So there are SVG files that are free online. Just Google search it. There are also SVG files that you can buy online. Some of them um, are great deals others maybe not I don't know I haven't I haven't done a whole lot of that yet so uh, you can also use the shapes that are already in here so basic shapes so there are circles and brackets and um, so they're all organized by polygon stars tags so there's your ribbon if you wanted to do something for breast cancer awareness or for your soldier so all kinds of of different ones that are in here already. Then there's also a place where you can go to their gallery, the Make the Cut Gallery, and choose something from there. So that's what we're going to do today because I want to keep it pretty simple. You can also design your own projects in here. Um, I have not done that yet. That's my next step. But like I said, we're going to keep it simple and I'm going to go ahead and choose something from the gallery. And there's a search feature sorry you know what I'm searching now as I searched Ohio State and I just clicked search and it brought these things up so there are three that I can choose from so I'm gonna choose this one that says the Ohio State logo because it says it's three layers and three colors I can handle that so we're gonna go ahead and download that into my folder the SVG files and we're gonna save it as Ohio State and then we can go ahead and close this search feature then I don't like to look at my map this close up so I'm gonna zoom out a little Whew, much better so you can zoom in quite a lot if you like to look at something super super close me I like to see the whole map so we're gonna leave it like that and now we're going to separate these feet these these parts which I'm not sure exactly how to do that so I haven't really watched any tutorials yet I've just kind of been <laughs> trying to figure it out as I go so over here on the side it looks like you, I can change the color so if I didn't want a black Ohio State to be in black if I wanted it to be pink I could change that let's unlock the layer there we go um, by unlocking the layer I can move it over here so now it will be black I can make a piece of black paper on that part of the mat and then I need to unlock this other layer over here, the red layer. See what I mean? I like to see my whole mat. Whew. I don't like not seeing the whole thing. And then I can move it down to the bottom portion of my mat. So now I have gray, a gray area, a black area, and the red area. So now I'm ready to cut. See how simple that was for me? I didn't have to design anything. So let's go ahead and go over to the computer or to the Cricut. Okay, what I've done is I've taken my Imagine cord actually, which is just a, a Cricut cord that will allow me to plug it into the expression and then have a USB at the end. So you may have one of these that came with your expression. My Imagine one was just laying here, so I just used it. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug that into the computer. Okay, once our USB is plugged in, we're gonna need to turn on our expression. And then I need to get my mat ready. Okay, once I have my mat ready, I have it, it shows me exactly where I need to lay it out. So there's still that arrow on here so that you can see exactly where you need to put your colors. So I put my gray in my top left corner and my red in my bottom left corner and my black in my top right corner. So now that I have my mat laid out, how I'll start this is I need to load my mat manually. So I'll need to have a cartridge in my expression. Let's turn you. I'll need to have a cartridge in my expression and I'll just need to push load mat. Which I didn't put an overlay on here, it's just the second from the bottom right. So once I have that, we'll go back to the computer screen. 
and I can go to Cut Project With. I'll choose Provocraft Cricut, and there's a shortcut with that. Um, and then you can choose multiple cutting in here. So usually with my expression, for some reason I need to cut twice just to make sure it goes all the way through. So I'm going to leave it on two. And you can choose your speed here as well. And then you can click start. And our cricket will start cutting. Cutting, it also shows you on the computer screen what um, how far it's done. So it's about 25% and it has a little screen and what it, it is showing you exactly what it's cutting right now, which is the H. So and I guess it counts the points it needs to cut, which is 1,466. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It's almost done. Now we just need to click unload on our mat. <clears throat> okay, and we're ready to put this together. There we go. So we have this, and now we're going to glue on the red. I've got it now. It just took me a second. Okay, so let's grab the ATG. Now, if my husband asks, which he probably will when he sees this movie, he will say, what? You made Ohio State? Okay, my family's diehard Ohio State fans, but my husband is a diehard Nebraska Husker fan. So, in my defense, there were no Nebraska Husker cuts already made. I would have had to do it myself, and I don't know how to do that yet. They're all intricate, but they're all welded together, so we should be good. I'm going to use this white to... I could get my little gluer out, my little tiny glue pen. I should have used post-it paper. That's what I should have done. But I didn't realize it. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and glue this little baby on here. Oh, the S goes in the middle. So we're going to glue that on there, and then we're going to find my little A middle, too. Now that we have all the pieces glued in, the state was pretty easy to glue together because it was all one piece. The Ohio was all different pieces, but it still wasn't too awful. So there's our Ohio state. And that was all printed off of someone else's design and cut out with the Cricut with the Make the Cut program. Pretty cute, right? There's tons of things in their gallery. I don't know if I would use a lot of them or not, but I've already used one, so that's a good start. And I figured out how to break apart the layers, so that's awesome. And I figured out how to put new shapes in that don't that um, are circles or squares or something like that, import basic shapes. And I made this awesome Ohio State thing, which I would not be able to do with my Cricut cartridges. Does this mean that I'm going to get rid of my Cricut cartridges or stop buying them? Absolutely not. Not in a million years will I stop buying Cricut cartridges. But um, I just bought five two days ago because they were $13 <laughs> on a, um, what was the site? Paper Crafting Pro. So, no, I will not stop making Cricut cartridges or buying Cricut cartridges. And I will not stop using my Gypsy. Absolutely not on both of those. But this is a different fun thing to do or use. So, um, I will put a link up to the Make the Cut um, the place where you can buy Make the Cut if you're interested in it or interested in downloading the trial because you can download a trial, try it out, see if you like it, and then go from there. That's what I did. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.